Hi friends, welcome back to my training series. This weekend I find myself near Phoenix, Arizona. I had the opportunity to come down and do some running with a friend. And so I'll get all, I'll tell you all about that when we get into the recap part. Oh, so let's go ahead and get into it. As usual, Monday was a rest day for me. But then my assignment on Tuesday was easy running with strides. Then after my run, I did my core strength series. And this week my coach gave me a whole new routine with new exercises for me to learn. And so as my body was experiencing exercise in new muscles, I really did feel it a lot this week. And then after work, I did my weekly yoga session via Zoom. On Wednesday, I was assigned 75 to 90 minutes of easy running. And I went ahead and just did this workout on some local roads and paved trails. I'm always impressed with how fast I can run on the road, especially when the same level of effort is so much slower on trails. On Thursday, I was assigned LT intervals. This week was three sets of 10 minutes hard with five minutes easy. A couple of commenters have suggested that perhaps I've been doing my LT intervals too fast and that's why I've been struggling with them so much. So this week I dialed it back a little bit and I found the whole workout to be a whole lot better. It was still hard, but I was able to do most of the 10 minute hard all in one go, except I did usually stop at the top of this one little hill. But for the most part, I was much happier with how the whole thing felt. And then in the afternoon, I did my core strength workout. This is just the second time during this new routine, but already I was starting to get a hang of some of the new exercises. Friday was a rest day and also a travel day as I flew to Phoenix. On Saturday, I did a run with my good friend, Steve Adderholt, doing a loop that he had suggested we do together. It was a loop in the Superstition Wilderness, including Superstition Mountain, which is behind me here. We started the run in a little bit of light rain, and as we climbed higher and got towards the top, we actually hit snow. The desert! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we did a loop that included climbing up on top of the ridge line, going across the ridge line, heading west, and then coming back down and then looping back around the north side. It was an epic, epic run, and we had a lot of snow that we weren't exactly expecting. <laughs> Adventure indeed. I love these rocks so much. Oh, there's a waterfall. Oh, wow. Nice job, nature. finished just before sunset, completely exhausted from the long day on our feet. An epic adventure though, and we made wonderful memories. We got about 27.3 miles with 7,300 feet of gain total. On Sunday, Steve and I were planning to do another run, but his hip was really bothering him from the run the day before. So I went out on my own and explored a little bit of the AZT, just a little bit further east from here. Well, this weekend of running has reminded me how rocky the trails here can be. So if you're 
planning on running a race in Arizona and you have never been to Arizona, you might find some rocks to run on to train because they can be kind of annoying and they might cause blisters or various other problems if you're not used to it. So just something to think about as you enjoy your training. I ran for about two hours, getting in about eight miles. Overall, a great week of training, 58.6 miles total with 17 hours and 48 minutes of running. It's great time on feet, really good for the training for Cocodona. Okay, so that's kind of a recap of the week. I did get a few questions in the comments this week that I thought I would go ahead and address. Uh, the first question is asking, what camera do I use? Well, great, because I just used it yesterday. I used this one here. GoPro 11 and uh, I use the GoPro shorty selfie stick uh, tripod combo kit works really well for me and you might also notice this little furry top unfortunately the furry one on the front came off but these are little wind jammers that I buy from B&H photo I actually learned about them from youtuber Stephen J Reed they're really, really great and they really help with wind noise and so you just get a couple of them they come with adhesive and you put them on top of the microphones. I do the one on the top and the one on the front. And it, it's, it just makes a huge difference for the audio. I'll put a link in the description below for the wind jammers from BNH Photo in case you'd like to get those for yourself. Okay, Jessica asks, what do I do about a dry throat at Cocodona? You know, actually, I think the good thing to try would be a buff to keep the dust down. Uh, the big problem I think about Cocodona and lots of different desert races is that you end up with a dry throat because of all the dust in the air. Sometimes at night when your headlamp is shining, you can actually see the dust floating around you. And that same dust is what's going into your lungs. So at Tahoe in 2022, I learned about using a buff to cover my mouth, which would allow the warm air to sort of moisturize uh, my lungs. And anyway, that helped a lot in clearing some of the Tahoe lung that I was experiencing. And I think that's something that I want to try at Cocodona this year to just see if that'll help keep the dust out of the lungs to begin with. So that's, that's probably what I'll be trying and I might suggest that too. All right, this question is from one of the, the commenters who have been suggesting that I'm running my LT intervals too fast, asking if I've done a VO2 max test. I haven't, and I think I'm actually gonna look into it because I think that's a great idea. So if I, I'll let you know what I learned, how about that? Okay, and the last question, uh, following up on the, what shoes am I running in? Uh, I'll, just to give you some more details on that. So I am running currently all in Topo Athletic and uh, I'm running for the trails. I'm running in the Mountain Racers, both two and three. And then I'm also running in the Ultra Venture Pro. Uh, I mentioned a couple weeks ago that I've been testing out the new Traverse from Topo Athletic. And I actually ran in the Traverse yesterday and today and I think the narrower toe box of the Traverse, I'm not loving very much. So it's gonna take a little bit more experimenting for me to see if it's what I'm gonna use in Cocodona. For road running, I use the Phantom 3, and I also sometimes run in the new super cushy Atmos. So yeah, all Topo for me. I absolutely love Topo Athletic. I love the wide toe box and a little bit of uh, heel drop or toe drop, you know, heel to toe drop, um, really great shoes. All right, thanks a lot for all the questions again this week. All right, well, that's it from me here in Arizona. I have had a great time here, but I am looking forward to getting home tomorrow. So I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you next week.